just want to start off with a song that I wrote that's based on a scripture where it says, our prayers are as incense. And uh, the truth is our, our prayers rise up before God. And tonight as we seek God and pray, uh, I believe that he hears our prayers and that uh, as I see your prayers show up, I will be glad to pray for you. And actually hoping at some point to be able to actually bring people on and share a two-way conversation and I can pray for you and just listen for what God has to say. So thank you for joining me tonight. I pray that this will be a blessing to you as I worship on my heart and as I pray for you and as I bring the presence of the Lord through my, my worship. So here's the Psalm of David. Our prayers are as incense as they rise to God's throne. Our prayers are a sweet scent, our petitions are known. By our Heavenly Father, who knows every need, and He listens with love as we intercede. Our prayers are as incense as they rise to God's throne. Our prayers are a sweet scent, our petitions are known. By our Heavenly Father, who knows every need, and He listens with love as we intercede. stressed out, if there's some needs that you have in your life, I'm praying right now for you that the Lord will definitely uh, touch you as I play my harp, because as I play my harp, I'm joining with the elders around the throne of God, who have the sense that as we pray, the incense rises before them and fills up those golden bowls. And in a minute, I'm going to show you an image of what that might look like. You know, very poor, poorly illustrated compared to the reality, but the great glory of God that has that definitely in his uh, presence. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul pants, Lord, for you. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. My soul thirsts, thirsts for the living God. My soul. says those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled so are you feeling dry and empty tonight while well, thirst after the living God he will fill you up to completion and fill you up with satisfaction he will fill you up with his righteousness Perhaps, like it says in Psalm 42, My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? Maybe that's what you're feeling tonight, maybe. Maybe you're sensing this uh, uh, feeling of um, uh, sorrow and sadness and, and to the point where it's your food day and night, like it says in the psalm. And, and it says, When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. So tonight, maybe as you pour out your soul to the living God in prayer right now, that you will be uh, satisfied and that he will fill you with his righteousness and his goodness and his mercy. Oh, Lord God of heaven, I pray for my friends who are watching right now, Lord. 
Lord, if they relate to what the psalmist says, that their tears have been food day and night, Lord, maybe there's a great sorrow in their lives, Lord. I just open up a portal in heaven right now as I play my heart, that there uh, would be a direct connection with heaven for them. Perhaps you feel betrayed. Perhaps there's been someone in your life or some people that have really caused you sadness and anguish. The scripture also says in Psalm 42, For I used to go out with the multitude, and I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise. With the multitude I kept the pilgrim, uh, a pilgrimage, a pilgrim feeds. So maybe there's somebody, been somebody in the church that has let you down or even harmed you emotionally or spiritually, why well, I want to pray for you right now. God of heaven, I lift up my dear friend who is watching this show and the betrayal that they have felt. They used to go to the multi with the multitude to the house of God and you know, there has been a, a wounding that has taken place. God of heaven, I ask you right now that there will be a healing of their heart, Lord. Let there come a healing balm from heaven, the balm of Gilead, that reaches down to their hearts, Lord, to the, the deepest place of their, their being, Lord. Let them come now and receive from you an encouragement Let them say to their soul, Why so downcast, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I will yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Why so downcast, O my soul? Hope in downcast, O my soul. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Say to your, your, your soul, why am I downcast? Put your hope in God. I believe that there's someone who is listening to these words. And it's just for you. It's the Lord speaking to you right now. says, 
come away with me. Come to the secret place. Come by the waterfalls of my presence. And let me refresh you there. Let the healing waters flow into your dry and weary soul. If you've been panting after the waters, come to me. Draw close to me and I will draw close to you. God is restoring the tabernacle of David, and you can be a part of this prophetic movement. In David's tent, he commanded the Levites to play the harp before the Ark of the Covenant and to prophesy. And once again, God is raising up an army of worshipers to intercede before the heavenly throne 24-7. In response to this call, international prophetic harp instructor Michael David is holding schools where you can learn to play the harp and to prophesy. To get involved, go to michael-david.com for more information. Maybe you can put yourself in this beautiful place where the waterfall is falling. I remember being in Israel. There's this one place where there is a waterfall that all the friends that I took along with me on tour, they actually went under it and were refreshed from the warm air. So Lord, I pray even now, Lord, that as they listen to the sound of my harp, Lord, they would just be able to feel the sense of your glory falling down on them like a waterfall. Deep calls into deep at the noise of your waterfalls. Well, I want to show you a very precious image. Uh, I have um, a picture that I drew and uh, used with Photoshop to create the throne of God and I, I use this image to just take some of the words from Revelation that describes what's going on around the throne of God and so I'd like to move that uh, image just so you can see it right now there it is and you can see on the throne an image uh, of the Lord himself and he's holding some keys and he's holding the stars in his hands and there's an emerald rainbow around the throne and you can see the 24 elders around the throne and what are they holding they're holding a harp <laughs> so there's the sound of the harp and in the book of revelation it talks about how uh, there's the sound of many waters the sound of harpists playing their harp and so tonight i'm hoping to bring a touch of heaven to you and you can see in that image, the elders have prostrate themselves. They cast their crowns before the Lord. And you can see in the golden bowls, if you look closely, there is a little bit of incense rising. And so there's something going on around the throne as, as these elders are playing their harps and bringing your prayers to the throne. And you need to be encouraged because the scripture says, if, if, if you know he hears these prayers, you, then you have the petition that you have and so tonight as we pray and as we listen for God and and listen for the sound of heaven on the heart that that you would be touched from uh, the throne of God himself and that your prayers be, would be answered and so I am trying to just help you get connected with that heavenly scene that you see just above me 
And so I want to play a little bit more and call that deep that calls unto deep in for you. And as the glory of the Lord touches you wherever you are right now, as I'm playing my harp, I just believe that you're going to make a heavenly connection and that the Lord will minister to you on a deep level. And so uh, let me play a little bit more for you as we do that. reproach me while they say to me all day long where is your God maybe there's some people in your life that are mocking you for your faith maybe you're feeling that pressure at work they're saying where is your God they're mocking you remember what the psalmist said that we are to do we need to encourage our souls and say why are you so downcast oh my soul and why are you disquieted within me Hope in God, for I shall yet praise Him. Hope, I say hope in the Lord. For you shall yet praise Him. Break through, he will break through for you. He will take care, yes, he will take care of you. Yes, he will take care of you. He sees your trouble. That's why he wants you to go to that deep place where you get that refreshing from his waterfalls. The scripture says the, the uh, rivers of living water will flow out of your innermost being. Living 
water shall flow. Out of your innermost being. Well, I was saying how the sound of heaven is the sound of the harp, and I'm so blessed to be able to share my harp with you. Um, but you know what? I have a theology of the harp. And I teach people how to play the harp and to worship on the harp. And I wrote a song called Lord of the Harp because I believe that God instituted this whole idea of the harp. And I want to play that for you right now. Lord of the Harp.
the heavenly sound. Hello friends, Michael David here. I would like to invite you to join me March 19 to 26, 2023 for a special school that is taking place at the set of The Chosen in Poolville, Texas, an hour and a quarter from Dallas. Many of our friends have enjoyed the Ministry of the Harp during our weekly Facebook and TikTok broadcasts and have wondered if they could learn to minister on the harp as well. Now you can learn to play the harp in just one week, even if you have never played the harp before. My method of instruction enables people to quickly learn to play by ear and be free to spontaneously worship and pray. I have had the privilege of traveling the world and playing a role in reestablishing the harp as an instrument for worship, intercessory prayer and healing, and I want you to be a part of this life-changing experience. So join me March 19 to 26 at Capernaum Studios in Texas, where you'll see the set of The Chosen and have your meals and accommodation right on site. Imagine an environment where you're totally immersed in learning the harp along with wonderful times of deep worship and prayer as well as memorable food and fellowship. To find out more about this school, to register and get information about obtaining a harp, just follow the link you see posted here. If you can't make it to the live school, I also offer live online group classes as well as a downloadable recording of my complete harp school. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Shalom. Doesn't that look exciting? Uh, I've already had a number of people who have uh, joined us. They, they're uh, buying harps. Uh, some of them are just renting to start with, so that's available. So uh, check out my uh, uh, webpage at michaeldavid.com forward slash harp school. Uh, well, before I, I leave you tonight, I'd like to bless you with the ironic blessing. Iverecha Adonai verishmerecha Ya'er Adonai p'navelecha v'chunecha Yasa Adonai p'navelecha Ve'yesam lecha shalom May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom. Well, shalom to you, my friends. And uh, be on the lookout for a next uh, a time when I'll be playing my harp and ministering in prayer and uh, in the singing of the word and the playing of the harp right here on um, Harp of David. Shalom, my friends. Bye for now.